Welcome everybody, Johnny Keck over at Ant Futures. Welcome to the next segment of our video tutorial series of multicharts.net exclusive platform free with Ant Futures. This segment we're going to take you through how to get into an actual trade on the actual dome, how to identify your average price, also known as your fill price, um, how to track profit and loss, and where to go to actually see working orders and account summary information, as well as utilizing the quick buttons that you see here at the bottom of the actual dome. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here in our earlier segment prior to this video, I've already shown you how to place trades, how to modify the trades, and cancel the trades. So now we're going to show you the behavior of how it how the, the dome will look when you're actually in a position. So first thing I want to cover is, uh, let me go ahead and minimize this background here, and let's just focus strictly on the dome. And I want to show you a couple of the quick buttons that we see here at the bottom. So these quick buttons you'll be using uh, very often if you use market orders, for example, as well as cancel all, close, and reverse. And I'll explain what those particular values and buttons will do. So, of course, if you want to place a market order, just simply click Buy Market if you want to buy at the market price. If you want to sell at the current market price, you're just simply going to click on the Sell Market button. Now, your order quantity can be adjusted from this field here. So you can use the up and down arrows. If you wish to use the calculator, you can do that as well. I find it easiest just typing in the value. Just keep it straightforward. This drop-down menu right here is the different order types that you can use. So if you're day trading, probably 99% of the time you're going to be using day orders. Good till cancel, good till, good till day or fill or kill. If you, of course, change the order type to good till date, then you're going to be able to select the date or good till cancel. Good till cancel, of course, is just going to be an order that will work through the official close of the market and it will only be canceled until you actually cancel the order. Day orders are specific. If the order is not filled by the official close, the order is considered unable and therefore automatically canceled. All right, the cancel all button, that's just going to strictly cancel working orders. That has no relation to liquidating positions. It's strictly in relation to canceling working orders that are working to get filled. So in this case, these are orders working to get filled. If I hit cancel all, that will cancel all working orders. Now this close button right here is, is your bread and butter of where you want to go in terms of getting out of the position immediately at the current market price and simultaneously canceling all working orders. So uh, that's usually what I like to call the bail button. So for example, if I'm in a position, I'm just going to go ahead and get into a quick long position here. I'm just going to buy at the market. And you'll have audio alerts when you get into a trade. Now if you don't want the audio alerts, you can disable them by right clicking on your dome and just simply uncheck sound alerts. I'm a fan of it. I like getting that confirmation, so I'm going to leave that on. However, if you don't like it, you can always right-click on the dome, uncheck sound alerts. All right, now from here, you can see now that I'm in the position. If you look at the bottom here, so you have two displays. This top display, earlier it just said, it, it, it said flat because we were not in the position, but now as you can see, it shows a plus one, plus meaning long and the quantity of how many contracts you're long. So in this case, I'm currently long one June mini S&P contract. Right below it, you can see an open P&L display, which shows me how much I'm making or losing in the current trade that I'm in. On the dome at this very moment, uh, there is only open P&L. However, I will show you, uh, lower towards the end of this video, I will show you where to go to see a cumulative P&L so you can see how much you've made throughout the entire trading day. So here, as I'm in the position, the question now is, where am I long from where I buy at? So what you want to look for is the white shaded average price from 2060 and a quarter. As you can see on the screen at this moment, that is where I bought my one mini S&P contract. So that's going to give me the indication of what my average price is and where I'm long from. And as you can see, I'm losing $12.50, mainly because now I'm break even. The market is currently trading at the same price that I bought. So I'm, no, I'm not making and I'm not losing any money. And uh, that's, way, that's pretty much how you identify where you're long or short from. So keep a lookout for that average price, the, the white shaded background. Now, if you're not a fan of the white shaded price, you'd rather, you maybe you want to change that color up a bit to make it more noticeable. You do have the ability to do that. You can right click on your dome and you can go to format colors. And the option that you're looking for is you want to scroll down and you see right here position background, you'll see that that color is currently set to white. So if you want to change it to a more noticeable color, for example, a neon green, notice now that's a lot more noticeable. So it's all personal preference. The main thing is helping you understand where to go to change that background color. So again, that's right-clicking on the dome, go to Format Colors, and the, the window or the parameter that you're looking for is Position Background. And just simply click in the color template and choose your template color as choice of choice, and just go ahead and click OK. For now, I'm going to leave that white background. I'm perfectly fine with that. 
And that's pretty much how you get into a trade. Now, that was an example of me going long. Now, let me show you an example of closing out the position. Let's say I want to place first a sell stop at 20.58 and a quarter. So I'm going to left click in the sell column at 20.58 quarter. There's my stop. And I'm going to go ahead and place a sell limit for 20.62 and a quarter. So we'll locate 20.62 and a quarter, left click in the sell column. Now I have two working orders. Now watch what happens when I hit this close button. What this, what's going to happen is it's going to close out the position at the current market price and simultaneously cancel these working orders. Now we are immediately out of the position. And again, that's a market order. And now you can see the orders have been canceled. All right, so that's an example of getting into a position using the buy market function. I've demonstrated how to use the cancel all function as well as close. Now let's show you an example of reversing your position. So this time I'm going to hit sell market. Now you can see I'm in a short position. I'm short from 2060. Right off the get-go, I'm losing $12.50 because the market's trading at one tick higher. Your P&L column will come into, fit and come into play. In the earlier video, I'd mentioned the P&L column will basically give you a visual of how much you would be making or losing based on the trade price that is next to that specific column. So in this case, if the market was at 2062.75, I would be losing $137.50. All right, now if you notice, I'm short one. And you can see that's represented by a negative sign instead of a plus sign. And again, same concept. It's going to show you the value of how many contracts you're long or short. So now watch what happens. If I hit the reverse button, what that's going to do, it's going to reverse the position. So if I'm short one, it will buy two contracts back at the current market price and leaving me net uh, long one. So the platform will automatically know how many contracts to execute to reverse your actual position. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the reverse button here and watch what happens. Immediately, I go from short one to long one. I'm long one from 2060 and a quarter. And now you can see my position is in, in effect. And that's what the reverse function will do. So that's pretty much the main purpose of those quick buttons. Buy market, sell market, cancel all, close, and reverse. It's a quick way to get in and out of positions and reverse positions as well as canceling positions as well. I'm going to go ahead and hit close here. And now we are out of the position. Now, if you notice, once we're out of the position, this goes back to a flat state. Your P&L is no longer um, moving around, mainly because we're not in the position anymore. So the question now is, where do I go to check to see my past transactions and see a cumulative P&L, which means total profit and loss throughout the trading session versus open pr uh, profit and loss? So what you're going to want to do, you want to go back to the trading platform of MultiCharts, bring up the main interface. You want to go to File, New. Order and position tracker window. This is very important, and we'll go more in depth on what, how to utilize this particular window. But for now, I just want to show you where to go to see more information about the trades that we just did. So, yeah, as you can see from the accounts tab here, I can go ahead and look at the accounts that I'm connected to. I was trading on the CQG demo environment, and you can see that so far today I've lost fifty dollars with those test trades that I've just done. So, this is where you're going to be able to go to your orders and see all your your transactions your open positions, history as well. And I'm not going to spend too much time on this segment. This is going to be for a different part of the, the video tutorial series. But for now, I just want to let you know where to go to see that additional information. Again, that's File, New, Order, and Position Tracker window. And then you're going to see most of the information from the Accounts tab. And this concludes this segment of our video, series, uh, video tutorial series. This is pretty much covering how a position looks on the dome how to utilize the quick buttons off the actual dome itself, and how to actually close out the position and reverse the position as well. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next segment. Thank you.